Hey, so you're going to a big Greek conference. That's awesome. I'll be there too. Probably. I go to most of them. In fact, I've been going to these things for a really long time. And no kidding, I was counting the other day. And I'm pretty sure I've been to well over a hundred of these big Greek conferences, these giant events that are for people like us, people who love fraternities and sororities and who want to help them grow. So whether you're a student, a volunteer, or you're a professional like me, I thought I'd give you some advice about how to maximize your time at these big events that can be a little overwhelming. Here's how to make the most out of your big Greek conference. First off, uh, take a moment to think about how lucky we are that we get to do stuff like this. I mean, it's a huge privilege to be a college-educated person who is a member of one of our ancient historic organizations. And then the best of the best of us get to gather together at some swanky hotel. And we get to push each other to be better leaders and to be better people. What? That's awesome. That's wild when you think about it. I mean, I'm pretty sure our ancestors, and for that matter, a whole lot of current day folks who aren't nearly as privileged as we are, if they got to see what we get to do, I think they'd be blown away. I think you've got to start with perspective and gratitude. If you're one of those attendees who shows up and complains about, I don't know, the meeting room being too cold, or the chicken that they serve isn't seasoned in just the way that your mama seasons your chicken, I gotta be honest, like get over it. We are incredibly lucky to be able to do stuff like this. Okay, so uh, let me give you some more advice about how to maximize these big Greek conferences. Focus on faces. Don't be dazzled by people's long name tags or their name brand clothes or how they all seem to have a big group of cool friends already. They're just as anxious and nervous as you. Focus on their face. If you look closely, you'll see another fish out of water who just wants to learn and grow just like you. But to be honest, they're probably working really, really hard to cover up some insecurities about being there, just like you and me too, to be honest. All right, here's another piece of advice. Meet the presenters, no kidding. Introduce yourself. They really like that stuff. I would know. Don't worry about uh, seeming smart or asking some insightful question and I don't know, trying to impress them. Just, just meet them and tell them you appreciate them. Tell them you appreciate them contributing to the conversation because it takes guts to do that stuff. And we need more people willing to add their ideas to the mix. We've got big problems in fraternity and sorority. We've got a lot to do to fix our industry. And the more ideas we have, the more people we have contributing real ideas, the better. Okay, here's another piece of advice. Go to bed medium early. Medium early? Is that even a thing? I don't know, but here's what I mean. Some of the coolest and most transformative moments I've ever had at these big sorority and fraternity conferences, those moments have happened pretty late in the evening, typically in the hotel lobby, while I'm talking about big stuff that matters with people I pretty much just met. But, and I mean this, nothing good happens after midnight. I'm just saying, make good choices. So you could be one of the first people online for coffee the next morning. See, that's what's really important. Stretch yourself. This is another tip. Stretch yourself. Talk to people who are different than you and attend events and little meetings and sessions that are beyond the things that you already know and care about. See, these events are full of diverse perspectives and people are doing Greek life in ways that go way beyond your experience. Stretch yourself. Also, stretch your legs every once in a while. Walking around the hotel in your nice shoes, honestly, it can really do a number on your hamstring and your back. Stretch and stay hydrated. Anyway, here's my last tip. Get contact information. Get contact info. I know that sounds super basic, but seriously, the difference between a conference that was fun for a few days and one that changes your life forever is the people you stay in contact with after it's over. Okay, that's it. I'll see you out there. Have fun. Stay fired up.